G'day knuckleheads, Uncle Nakas here and welcome to episode 30 of my Owner Builder series. It's amazing how every day on this job appears to be a big day and today is no exception because we're about to kick off with the plasterboarding or the drywalling and very shortly there will be four guys turning up along with a truckload of plasterboard or drywall. And I've been told that this whole process will take about 10 days. So in that time frame, I envisage a fair bit of footage. So I think we might break this up into a few parts. This being part one, where we look at doing the ceiling battens and the ceiling sheets. So till those guys arrive, I think I might do a bit of a clean up and get this show ready to rock and roll. Let's do it. Now that's a sight for sore eyes. The CSR Jip Rock trucks turned up, packed full of goodies. All the boys have to do now is get all this stuff inside and we're ready to start hanging some sheets. I'll make a bit more, back this way a little bit. Let him go. Beautiful. Just bring him in a little bit. Careful, watch that doorway. Good work. So the plastering team of Paul, Jeff, Nate, Nate and Dane from Hickson Plastering have turned up and they've kicked off by installing the ceiling battens. Now half of the team is in the new section of the house doing that while Nate and Dane are in the older section of the house trying to fix up the ceiling which isn't very straight or very level and they've had to do that by dropping the ceiling by 50 millimeters. So to drop those ceilings and to get them nice, straight and level, the boys were using a product called a furring channel. It's a metal ceiling batten, but it's slightly different to your conventional metal ceiling batten, like this one here, which you nail directly to the underside of your truss or your ceiling joist. Put him down. The furring channel is attached to one of these brackets via those two grooves and it attaches just like that. Pretty simple. Now this bracket gets attached to your truss or your ceiling joist and you can adjust it up and down until you get the underside of that furring channel to the correct height and also nice and level. And on my job this has been an absolute saviour because the ceilings in the old section of the house were all over the shop. Love it. Now before you install those ceiling sheets you need to apply some Jiprock glue to those ceiling battens and for a 1200 wide sheet glue at 200, 400, 800 and a meter. And for full installation instructions make sure you check out the downloadable booklet at csrjiprock.com.au Now this is exciting, the first sheet is going up. Good. Good. Away they go. And how good are those screw guns? Certainly a bit quicker than the old days. And on my front and back verandas, I went with Jibrox sensitive plasterboard. I wasn't that keen on the old system of cement sheet joined together with plastic joiners because it just doesn't look very good. This product is set like a conventional ceiling and it also has antifungal properties and is highly resistant to moisture and is used in areas like bathrooms. So it makes it the ideal choice for the ceiling linings on my verandas. Thank you. 
And with this being the last ceiling to be installed, we're almost ready to start hanging some wall sheets. The house is really starting to take shape. It's looking good. So there you have it, part one done and dusted. Part two, we'll be looking at hanging some of those wall sheets. All right, as per usual, a big thumbs up is greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. All righty, I'm gonna have a quick cup of tea and get stuck back into it. So till next time, I'm out of here. Cheers.